Just about two months and counting until the biggest celestial show of the year. We're talking about the total solar eclipse happening over parts of the U.S. this April. I'm Denver 7 meteorologist Steve Roldan. It is coming up quickly. We're talking about April 8th. That's the date of the big solar eclipse that will be happening in the skies above Colorado. It'll be the first time we've seen one in seven years. And while we won't get in on the full show here in the state, it's still going to be quite a show to see. Uh, the sun goes dark and stars come out. A rare and stunning sight to see if you're lucky enough to be in the direct path of a total solar eclipse. While Colorado will be to the west of that path, it'll still be a spectacle to catch. So the, uh, in Colorado and in Denver, um, we will have what's known as a partial solar eclipse. And so instead of the moon completely blocking out the sun, uh, it will only just partially uh, block it. And so uh, you might think of it as uh, the moon taking a bite out of the sun. And in Denver, the partial solar eclipse will last about two and a half hours or so. Major cities like Austin, San Antonio, Dallas, Indianapolis, Cleveland, and Buffalo will be in the direct path of the total solar eclipse. The path of totality will start in South Texas and make its way northeast, darkening the skies. The sun is completely blocked out. It's like a black, the blackest hole in the sky that's surrounded by the sun's corona, its outer atmosphere. So you have this ghostly uh, wreath of light that surrounds the sun. And then all around you is um, along the horizon. It's sort of like a, a, a sunset or a sunrise where you see blue sky um, at the um, towards the horizon and it fades um, through sunlight sunset colors into the the dark of the sky. A total solar eclipse won't be visible in the United States again until August of 2044. That eclipse will only brush parts of Montana and North Dakota. Now if you're waiting for a total solar eclipse to happen here in Colorado, you're going to have to wait for some time. That's not scheduled to happen until 2045 for areas south of I-70. For Denver 7, I'm meteorologist Steve Roldan.